If you would like to support the channel, then please turn off adblock and refresh the page. Alternatively, use the link in the description below to donate to T1 Patreon. Thank you. Hello Magic Community on YouTube, I'm T1 Glistener Elf. Once again, while I have her- wait a minute, you're missing something, aren't you? One second. That's more like it. This is my baby, he's so cute, you're so cute, you're the cutest. Look at her little gloves. She has matching bear gloves, too. We love you very much. Alright. I'm doing another deck tech while I have her. And you're going to help me out with the deck tech, aren't you? By being adorable and maybe playing with the cards after I've shown them. That's how this works, right? So we're going to start off with... Uh, it, this is the Mono White Enchantment Prison deck tech. Which means... Uh, obvious card is obvious. We have four Ghostly Prison. She's like, praise the sun! You've been playing some Dark Souls with me, haven't you? Yes! Yeah. Nice! A four Ghostly Prison, and accompanying them, four Sphere of Safety. These are our prison pe our main prison pieces to keep aggro and mid-range decks, or any creature-based deck, from killing us, right? That's how this works. Uh, Back when Splinter Twin was a thing, this also gave us main board hate against the combo. Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Oh, there you are. There you are! Oh my goodness. I also run one story circle. It's been more in the past. I'm just trying one out right now, so I feel more than free. I think I've gone all the way up to four, actually. Oh, there's some flex slots in here. Uh, one story circle just as another piece in case we don't get the others um, or to negate the damage of ones I can get through. We have, here's a flex slot, for Idyllic Tutor. Now I run this because in the sideboard, <laughs> carrying my face, I have a bunch of one ofs Yeah, you're adorable in those. See, aren't you adorable? Can you, wait, look, for the camera, say, boots. Oh. Um, in the sideboard, I run a bunch of one uh enchantments. The only ones that aren't one ofs are Leyline of Sanctity and Stony Silence. And so with these one ofs I can go and find certain hate pieces, like Rest in Peace, or like Rule of Law, my goodness, oh my goodness, uh, Karma, that sort of thing. Uh, and this allows me to go and find them. In the main board, it helps me find the relatively few win conditions that we have. Uh, however, they are idyllic tutor for bigger metas, mid-range and control. Uh, if you are playing against a very low-to-the-ground meta, say, uh, Zoo, Affinity, Infect, replace those with Nevermore, which is also in the sideboard. And then you can move idyllic tutor to the sideboard, to go and actually find those pieces in the sideboard games, when you really need them, usually. Um, so, that's why those are there. Now for the actual win conditions to the deck. There are seven. Seven individual cards, not seven individually named win conditions. Uh, I start out with four Illuminati Ascensions. Illuminati confirmed. It's Luminarch Ascension, of course. This is a great anti-control win condition, and it's very low to the ground. It ba it works with prison decks, because if you don't take damage during your opponent's turn, then it gets a quest counter, four quest counters, and you probably win the game, because you start puking it, you know, angels out. Um, and we make a lot of mana in this deck for our 4-4 four, four angels. Next, I have one of Heliod, Praise the Sun. Praise the Sun! Can you do it? Praise the sun! You can't do it now? You can't do it now. You can do it late, earlier, though. Okay. Let me give you the uh, tokens that I use in this deck and let you play with them. These are uh, hand-drawn angel tokens that were given to me by an ex of mine. So, you know, she's an ex, but might as well make some use out of them. Oh, <laughs> you took off one of your gloves. You want to play with the angel tokens? No? Flip, 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 flip. <laughs> Angel tokens, right? That one gives me, like, Mick Jagger lips. <laughs> Alright, so next we have, in addition to Heliod, 
excuse me, uh, Heliod being indestructible helps. Uh, if I need to tutor up an indestructible win condition, I do take him out against Path to Exile decks sometimes, though. Um, there are two Elspeth. Now, I'm worried about you handling these cards because you might bend them. You might bend the cards. We don't. Oh. There's only so long you can. Or you can play with the hat. That works. Play with the hat. Uh, and then two Elspeth because she's both protection in the form of her wrath and she's a win condition. And then four Path to Exile. I'm still looking to sell basically everything in this deck. They're pretty. They're Rebecca Gay. They're my, she's my favorite artist in Magic. Uh, if you are running a white deck like this, then you sort of have to have them just to survive the... Uh, hey! Hey! Hey, dear! Oh my goodness. Just survive the early game. How are you? How are you doing? You can also consider cards like Oust or Condemn. Uh, other one drops to remove the creature. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I love you so much. Can you say SpaghettiO? Can you, uh. can you say Boots? Can you say spaghetti boots? <laughs> okay. Now, uh, for some more stall, we have four Wall of Omens. Draw a card and keep the game going for a little while. Uh, we have four Nyx Fleece Ram. I've had fewer, um, but these are obviously great walls against not just uh, four Power Creep. I mean, we're talking also Siege Rhino, Tassiger, that sort of lot. Uh, this lets you. Yeah, survive for quite a while. And it's an enchantment, so it helps with Sphere of Safety. Gains you a little bit of life against burn, so on and so forth. Alright, and then, if all else fails, two Wrath of God. So, yeah, if you just need to fight the mid-range decks by wiping their board, that's how you do it. Now, we have, I believe the technical term, is a metric crap ton of snow-covered planes. Snow-covered. And there's a reason that they're snow covered. It is. We run. Well, there's two reasons actually. <laughs> okay, I'll hand it to you. There you go. <laughs> Slide down me. We have four scrying sheets. This helps us to filter through our deck a little bit by removing lands from the top. Once you already have enough lands that you have uh, excess mana at the end of turn, you can use scrying sheets to look at the top card, reveal it if it's snow, and add it to your hand. Well, we have Scrying Sheets, I think it was 17 planes? No, I guess it's 19 planes then. Yeah, 19 planes. And we also have a one of Mouth of Ronin, which has been more, which has been fewer. Um, this is just Creature Kill. I used this back in the good old Splinter Twin days to hit a Deceiver Exarch, uh, but that's a lot of mana. Yeah, show off your glove. Uh, before you get to that point. Nowadays, I just use it as a very, as random creature kill, especially against the hate bear decks that keep me from going off. Uh, cards like Phyrexian Revoker actually do beat this deck, um, because all of our win conditions have activated abilities. Yeah. So, you know, it's just some miscellaneous hate. It fills the land, so it almost doesn't even fill a spot in the deck. Uh, there is an opportunity cost, though. It does work against uh, Story Circle, because that needs white mana, not colorless. But that's about it. And then a one of Nykthos, because holy heck, this deck will have a lot of mana. And this means a lot of Angels or Heliod tokens. Uh, Heliod's not such a great win condition without Nykthos. Just because he floods the board so slowly, he uses twice the mana that Luminarch Ascension needs, and his tokens are smaller, and while they have Vigilance while he's out, they don't have uh, flying or any sort of evasion. But they are enchantments, so they make Sphere even better, as if you need that. Uh, now for the sideboard, as you can tell, this deck is pretty well situated against Burn, even before we go to games two, and all, at all. Um, there's Blind Obedience to make that even worse. Little Life Gain, negate their haste by having them come in tapped. Are you gonna stand up again? <gasps> oh my goodness. Ah. Uh, yeah, there you are, my precious. Oh my goodness. 
uh, Circle of Protection Red, more Burn Hate. We could be more Story Circles if you want. That comes out a little sooner, which is more consequential against the Burn decks. Karma. Now this is actually another win condition. I cite it uh, in against Junk and Jund and Mono Black Obliterator and other heavy black decks that use a lot of swamps because I don't even have to attack anymore once this resolves. Uh, just sit back and let it passively deal them damage. Basically, if the deck wants to run Liliana... Yeah, what's that? Is that the light switch? Do you want the light switch? She likes playing with the light switch. Let's see if we can wait just a minute more, okay? <laughs> can you say... <sighs> okay. Let me get your hat. Daddy. Now my hand is the hat. See, whee! <gasps> yeah, big smile. Daddy. Big toothy smiles. <gasps> hey there. I also have four Leyline of Sanctity, more burn hate, fight certain combo. Oh, oh, she's gonna mess with the tripod. Fight certain combos, like uh, Ad Nauseam, for instance, or uh, Pyromancer Ascension, that sort of thing. So, there's that. Nevermore, fight combo and name hate cards. Nevermore, does it all. Uh, Oblivion Ring, just to deal with problem permanence. Yeah. One Rule of Law for combo decks. One Ruined Halo, which again could be more. Uh, you could run multiple. I said Nevermore earlier. I will put a correction in. I meant to say Ruined Halo, not Nevermore. Uh, you run Ruined Halo in the main instead of Idyllic Tutor if you expect it to be a very aggressive meta, because that will stall the game for long enough for you to get out your win conditions, and it fights combo in the main board. I said never more, didn't I? And then four Stony Silence. Not you, we're getting to you. Here, you can play with an Angel Token. These are bendy, and that's the Mick Jagger one I don't like much anyway. Uh, fights Affinity, you need it early, you get the deal. She's going to show off the angel, I guess. No? Not yet? Okay, and then there's one more I wanted to talk about really quickly. A little discussion point. Which is Starfield of Nyx, which is actually not in the deck. I've experimented with it in the sideboard. I definitely don't want this in the main board, even though this could be a win condition in the deck. Um, let's me get back enchantments from the grave, which usually doesn't matter. Oh man, that one's going to be bent to high heck. And then it also gives you uh, opalescence if you have five or more enchantments. Now, non-aura enchant... No, it's five or more enchantments. Uh, the problem with that, though, is that in the main board, you will just randomly lose to wrath effects. Right now, wrath does basically nothing against you. It's why we can run wrath of God. Um, but if you play that in the main board, you give your opponent the, uh, the ability to beat you with Wrath. They just wipe your board of all your enchantments and then you lose. Uh, in the sideboard, maybe... Hey there. Oh my goodness. Ah. In the sideboard, maybe you bring it in against decks that don't have removal uh, because there's nothing they can do about it. Especially green decks that bring in like Reclamation Sage. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This. This. Okay. If you want to hang out away from the, the deck tech, we can do that. But first, let me say something to you. Say... Poop. There we go. Of all the words. Of all the words. Alright. Wobbly 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 I got you. I got you. There we go. Um... You might want to put it in the sideboard to bring in against certain decks. I actually am not even running it at all now, just because the deck doesn't need that many win conditions. Once it has the prison set up, you can stall the game until you find it. And I don't like it as much as the other win conditions, actually. It leaves me too vulnerable, I think. I suppose you could also bring it in against discard decks, playing like Inquisition of Kozilek, because that will put the enchantment cards in the graveyard. I love her so much. 
think it's about nap time, so I'm going to let you go. Take care, Magic Community. I'll see you later. You want to say bye-bye? Say bye-bye! Yeah. Or yell in my ear, one of the two. You want to say bye-bye to everyone? She's... I think it's about that time. Go for it. Now we're done. Now you can go.